Ghana is a small but very dynamic independent African state. We should never forget that our duty is to lead Ghana out of the mess. NPP Road to 2024. Exclusive on Pinax TV. Alright, so once again, it's your case and comma, Ubibi Awenya Briaoche on this particular platform. So recently, Professor Lumumba, he came to Ghana, actually went to the KNUST to offer uh, a speech there. Now, for those of you who don't know, Professor Lumumba is to be a picture by two screeners, so, or a pan Africanist, or sounds so a activist, or not sounds so a lawyer, or Kenya, a respect, a respect in Yepa. So, let me break this words down. It can say, will be a pan Africanist, I don't know, believe he said. Uh, African, you know, you know, come boom. The intimate say be a Russia, the intimate say it be a United States of Africa, United States of America, San Aquamicuma, a pre United States of Africa, and their Pan Africanism, name patronizing, name why, who needs you to me at the dominate This man, a well respected scholar, I'm called for a professor Lumumba or Shomo, a Didini Juma. Nipa or Shesopa is any heroes number one, Kwame Kuma and a Lumba, Unyan Baby Koy, any other African heroes. Or Bagana, and this time around, in some of the two journal, uh, Kamiya Koyes Akufado has taken his part because, um, to many people, Akufado has filled the country. You could see some a uh, professor or the two uh, Akufado, man, for because this is a direct reply. Akufado is a Dan kwa buzi ya ne, e ye kwa mi nkuma, e, omu nfifri, omu nisu nfifri, omu te ye no. This, this kwa mi, e ye, akufu adu, wa destroy everything. Ngu ti se ma professor, edu tu jaya, bae betu as. Elfo, no mamba! Thank you. Thank you very much. You may resume your seats. Let me start by recognizing the chair of the session, Nana Professor. Permit me also to recognize the Vice Chancellor of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And permit me to recognize my friend the former president of the Republic of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama, whom I wish well. And permit me to recognize the students here present and to stand on the protocols that have been established before I rose. Let me say how great I am to be given the honor and privilege to deliver the commemorative lecture of a man whom history already acknowledges as great, His Excellency John Evans Atta Mills, now with the Lord. It gladdens my heart to be present before you because this lecture is being delivered at a time when our continent is at crossroads in many ways. It is being delivered at a time when we as Africans are uh, under an obligation to ask ourselves many uncomfortable questions. It comes at a time when the continent of Africa is beginning to run short of heroes to emulate. It comes at a time when political leadership is synonymous with dishonesty. It comes at a time when this continent can and must rise from the quicksand of dishonesty and blatant thievery. 
in order to rise to the firm ground of hope. And therefore, when we are called upon to commemorate the life and times of President Atta Mills, a number of questions must come to mind. History records and will continue to do so until it is otherwise proven that he was the shortest serving president of the Republic of Ghana. But his footprints in the sands of time tells us that it's not how long you serve that matters, but how well you serve. So the first message that we are sending out today to Africans is that longevity in office in and of itself is not what makes one great, but the quality of service. And I'm speaking at a time when the continent of Africa has no shortage of dinosaurs who have refused to leave the stage. And their refusal to leave the stage has made Africa the poorer. We are celebrating John Evans Atta Mills because he reminds us that it's not how long you serve, but how well you serve. I'm speaking at a time when Africa, indeed many African countries are infamous because of individuals who occupy public space and their greatest claim to fame is that they are dishonest, is that they are arrogant, is that they are thieves. And therefore, when we celebrate President John Atta Mills, whom we are told and we are aware was a votary for transparency, we are telling them that it is not how long you serve, it is how well you serve. We are celebrating and commemorating John Atta Mills at a time when the continent of Africa is laboring under the weight of conflict. And if you ever doubted, cast your eye around the continent. Cast your eye to Sudan. Africans are dying in the thousands. Cast your eye to southern Cameroon. People are dying in the thousands. Cast your eye to Somalia. People are dying. Cast your eye to northern Burkina Faso. The continent is not at ease. And we are commemorating Professor John Atta Mills because he was known as the King of Peace. And we are saying that this is the time that we must give practical meaning to what he stood for in recognition that this continent will realize our potential until we are peaceful and I'm not talking about the peace of the graveyard I'm talking about peace that is real peace that allows us to exploit our potential peace that allows us to live in dignity this man that we are commemorating today was a warrior for peace and justice and he was such a warrior recognized only for slightly over three and a half years demonstrating that it's not how long you serve but how well you serve and we are here to also remind ourselves particularly at a time when in the continent of Africa power is attended by pomp and circumstance when power in Africa is attended by wastage where power is attended by razzmatazz where power is attended by abuse of office and we are reminded that one of Atta Mill's greatest claim to fame was humility 
we are celebrating humility and from this podium we are telling the arrogant African politician be not arrogant not arrogant because the words of the Bible are still true that if you are arrogant there shall still appear a fingerless God and it shall be said mene mene tekel upersin that your words and days have been weighed and you've been found wanting we are reminding them that at our meals was the personification of humility and if Africa is to be great we must have men and women who are humble because humility is the mother's milk of servant leadership we are here to celebrate Atta Mills because he was a pan-Africanist he realized like his predecessors and it was here in Ghana not too far from here in 1957 when another great Ghanaian said that the independence of Ghana meant nothing if the rest of Africa was not independent that great Ghanaian for whom this university is named it was a Sajia for Kwame Nkrumah and we are here at a university that is named for him and I'm aware I can remember the speech that that man delivered on the day that this university was established and it's not lost on me that the man in whose honor we are standing here today and in whose honor we are assembled here today was an academic I'm not unaware that he was an academic of giant proportion that he bestrode the academic field like the fabled Colossus that I in fact did meet him as an academic and that he distinguished himself as an academic we are here therefore to send word to Africa that in order for Africa to grow we must give pride of place to education because education is what will revolutionize the continent of Africa it is education that is going to change Africa if we are going to compete with everybody if we are going to compete with the Europeans with the Chinese with the Koreans and the Indians we must give meaning to what was initiated by after meals let the young men and women who are present here in this assembly know that there is no substitute for education but what kind of education is the education that will make us inventors and innovators it is the kind of education that is going to make africa great again and i can hear through the vicissitudes of time the words in silence of john evans Atta mills speaking to you young man and telling you rise up and do what is right and good rise up don't think that being Ghanaian is great. No, it is not. Don't think that being black is great. No, it is not. What is great is our recognition that Africa is great. And if Africa is to be great, it must be great from Ghana. It must be great from South Africa. It must be great from everywhere. I can hear John Evans Atta Mills speaking to us. But the question is, do you hear John Atta Mills? The question is, even if you hear him, are you hearkening to his voice? The question is, are we assembled here merely because it is an annual jamboree? Or we are wedded to the ideals of John Atta Mills? John Atta Mills. I'm speaking to young and old people here in Kumasi. I know not whether they hear me, but I want you to speak and touch their hearts. Touch their hearts with the ideals that you stood for. Touch their hearts with the spirit of compassion. Touch their hearts with the spirit of humility. Touch their hearts with the spirit of vision touch their heart with the spirits of equity touch their heart that they may know 
that Ghana can only be great if they are great and if our young men and women are great touch their hearts we are assembled here to remind ourselves that whatever happens to us history will record what we do and I remember as a young student and as a young curious mind I read about a young Greek lad whom you young men should read about the lad was called Herostratus throughout his life he did nothing or did very little but yet he had the desire to be great so just before he died he burnt a cathedral that he may be remembered indeed history now remembers Herostratus as the person who burnt a cathedral there are two ways of getting into history burning cathedrals or doing the right thing choose you now what you want to do John Evans Atta Mills did not burn any cathedral John Atta Mills did not steal any money John Atta Mills did not do anything untoward John Atta Mills did the right thing John Atta Mills was compassionate John Atta Mills served with dedication John Atta Mills served Ghana John Atta Mills served Africa you now do you want to burn cathedrals or do good as for me I suggest we follow John Evans at our meals and you know when we speak about great men such as John Evans at our meals we must speak about them in the context of the continent of Africa because Ghana is not an island because Ghana can only be great if the whole continent of Africa is great because Ghana is the cradle of liberation for the continent of Africa and if Ghana gets it right Africa gets it right Ghana is the true north of African liberation Ghana is the political mecca of Africa and if Ghana is the political mecca of Africa you must have hygiene in your politics you must sanitize your politics and history tells me that during the three and a half years that John Evans Atta Mills served your politics knew hygiene that during that period when he serves it is meritocracy rather than mediocrity that ruled and I am saying therefore that as we commemorate the life of John Evans Atta Mills we must be warriors for meritocracy for too long in the continent of Africa including here, here in Ghana sometimes we have allowed men and women who have no credentials to rise to high heights. John Atta Mills is telling us the time to stop is now. For too long we have had individuals whose only claim to fame is the average rise to high height. John Atta Mills is telling us no we should not. We have for too long allowed our institutions to be led by men and women who have no business leading domestic and village cattle dips because even the cows will reject them <laughs> so today we are here to celebrate a great man a great man who served well a great man who believed that you are not successful until your successor succeeds a great man who believed that life and political office is a relay race that you run your leg and hand over the baton to the another generation a great man 
who recognized that academic excellence combined with political excellence and agility is indeed the recipe for success. A great man who knew that servant leadership is what his country needs. A great man who knew that simplicity is the highest form of sophistication. A great man who recognized that equity is the greatest form of development and that is why we hear testimonies where men and women during his time were judged not by the color of their skin or by their gender but by their character. That is the man that we need now. That is the man of whom I speak now. That is the man whom we are commemorating today. And you know, when you speak about such a man, you don't speak for too long because it is unwise to do so. When you speak of such a man, you only touch that which is important. And when I speak about him, and as I must not speak for too long, I remember as a young student, in 1979 I remember reading a book that in some ways spoke about John Evans Atter Mills that book is a Greek tragedy that book is Sophocles Oedipus and I remember in the very last words of that book some parts are relevant but some parts are not relevant the relevant part that relates to John Arthur Mills is what I will refer to when we speak about him behold sons and daughters of Ghana and Africa they are lived John Arthur Mills one of the greatest Ghanaians that Ghana has ever produced he came and served for a short time he served in humility, in recognition that success must never be defined by he who is successful, but is defined by those who live long after him. Today I can make an announcement that indeed John Evans Atta Mills was a successful man. He was a successful man because 10 years after he was gathered to his fathers, we are assembled here young and old to commemorate him he was a successful man because we are gathered here we are gathered here from traditional chieftaincies and we are saying he was a great man we are gathered here from the academia and we are saying he was a great man we are gathered here from the political arena and we are saying he was a great man we are gathered here from the students who are eager with curiosity and they are saying although we did not see him he was a great man we are gathered here because i come from kenya and i'm saying he was a great man he must have been great indeed and you know the only lesson that he now teaches us particularly to you young men and women he is telling us i came i saw i played my part you who are young you look at the things that i did look at the things that others did emulate what i and go out into the world and prove that it can be done because it must be done and because if it is not done africa will never realize our potential so i say with you today john atta mills is dead long live john atta mills long live john atta mills god bless you is a small but very dynamic independent African state. We should never forget that our duty is to lead Ghana out of the mess. NPP Road to 2024. Exclusive on Pinax TV.